may be wondering why I'm holding this roll of toilet paper. I see this toilet paper as a cycle of everything that happens in nature, including waste management. For millions of years, before man and technology evolved, everything from the food we ate, the clothes we wore, the shelters we lived in, to even our bodies, everything would go back to nature. But now, even our own bodies are not completely recyclable. For millions of years, before man and technology evolved, this is a man-made concept, waste is a man-made concept that never existed in the past. With the evolution of technology, materials have become more and more complex, and nature is no longer able to break down these materials, thus resulting in generation of waste. A lot is said about waste segregation, cleanup drives, etc. But what's really happening here? We are collecting waste from one place and dumping it elsewhere. So essentially what we are doing here is not disposing the waste, but just relocating it. We are filling our environment with so much waste that Earth is no longer able to handle. The way we see our waste is simply not enough. How does your normal day begin? Sipping chai, reading newspaper, or perhaps using this? What happens to the paper and the newspaper after it's being used? Most of us out here believe that paper is 100% recyclable. Unfortunately, that's not true. Most of our paper is ending up in our landfill. This is just one prime example out of hundreds of such recyclable products that end up seeing the same fate. India ranks sixth largest producer of waste, with 43,000 industries producing 19,000 tons of waste every day. Do you know how much that is? It's like throwing 10,000 cars into the landfills daily. But what if I told you all this waste is entirely usable? Here is something made entirely out of waste, a brick. These bricks are, are stronger and more durable than the conventional brick. They are twice the size, yet half the price. These bricks have helped create low-cost toilets and houses in hundreds of households of rural India. The, the process of making these bricks is no rocket science. The waste from various industries is brought to our factory, where it's mixed with a special binder. This is then this is then molded in desired molds and naturally dried. The process is so simple that you can make them even in your own backyard. Just as simple as this process is, it originated from a very simple idea. At age 11, when a chewing gum got stuck on my pants and I tried removing it with a piece of paper, I noticed that it had hardened up. So, I was a curious kid, I went back home, decided to do the same experiment again. And with this newfound discovery, I realized and I added more ingredients to it. And this is what it ended up looking like. I was finally able to make the first prototype of a brick and patent it. I'm probably the first guy to patent trash. With this, I realized there were hundreds of such products and ways that needed solution. So I started a lab where we convert waste into eco-innovations. Here, we create economical solutions out of waste coming from various industries. These solutions are then used for their CSR projects. This also helps us generate a sustainable model of generating revenue. For example, waste from textile and metal manufacturers are now these road pavers. This grass is made out of waste from bathtub manufacturers. Waste from craft mills are now these soundproofing panels. Our cloth has lint, and this lint is helping women menstrual hygiene with these washable sanitary pads. Our human hair from salon is helping create furnitures for the very same salon. 
and paper waste. And now these beautiful looking lamps, clocks, and even this iPhone cover. This creates a circular economy where one man's waste becomes the other man's treasure. Possibilities with waste is endless. In future, houses in space are going to be made entirely out of waste. For this, we just need the right tools to make India a leading solution provider of such zero waste technologies. Years ago, as an exchange student to the United States, I was asked this question, do you Indians know what computers are? <laughs> to which I sarcastically replied, no. We just make them to educate the people about the world. I dream of an India that educates the world about how to use its waste sustainably. And to help you dream the same, let me remind you that this roll of toilet paper is soon going to be on its way to become a brick on a toilet wall. Thank you.